Hey you guys and welcome back to another Pokemon XD Gala Darkness video. And so Yeah, we're gonna do in this episode, we're gonna actually gonna do the final episode. Yeah, I'm so excited for this because this is the final episode. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you some new moves that I added to my Pokemon that I switched out. I got flamethrow on my Hound Doom, which is awesome. This flamethrower is awesome. And I also got Ice Beam on my seal. That and I and I and I got rid of um got a takedown. Was it takedown? Yeah, I think it was takedown. Or so or had not no, it wasn't think it was yeah, it was takedown. I also got um Earthquake, which I got rid of I think return returns the move I got rid of and got Earthquake on my Earthswing. And that's pretty much it. Only and that's pretty much the only thing I changed and stuff. I did not change about um how I did I did not like I said I did not change the levels. The levels are the same as, as last time you, you guys were here. So this is awesome by the way. I did there I do I, there is later on where I add rare candies to some of my Pokemon so I can able to defeat the boss a lot easier, but Pretty lucky, but before we fight the final boss, there's another boss I have to do. Be right before that, because we can actually in this. We actually going to fight two bosses, and and the first boss is is that guy right there to the right, not the guy, who's, not that guy, but Grievel, but Eldis. Yeah, we're gonna bow that guy that's gonna eldest that's rocking towards us. You might find to anger Master Grievel. I thought I would end up battling you one day. But this isn't how I had hoped to face you. If we bow, it will only be unfilling and without meaning. Will you challenge me knowing that? Yes I will. Fine, I understood, but once we begin, accept no mercy. And whatever else he said. <laughs> But anyway, we're gonna ask him about against Cypher Admin Elvis. Like to battle. And he sends out his Minajask and Meno. Meno. Okay. or whatever. <laughs> I just haven't really played Pokemon that often in a while. Or that much recently that I kind of forgot what the names of a lot, a lot of Pokemon were. Because, you know, I just like. I like to play Pokemon because I grew up with Pokemon, but. At the same time, I kind of forgot a lot, a lot of the Pokemon names or how to, how to pronounce them because because I don't play Pokemon as often now and stuff. I do because I do still play Pokemon a good amount, but not not as much as I used to. I guess it doesn't seem as fun to me as I used to. I guess because I've been playing Pokemon for so long and everything that it's just it, it just it was just like that. But yeah. But yeah, anyway, in this episode, I I won't tr I won't try to catch the Shadow Pokemon at all, really, because you know because of because you know this is kind of the end, final end and stuff, and I kind of decide bye bye Houndu by the way. But anyway, I kind of decided that I'm not gonna do the post game. Yeah, I kind I kind of want I kind of went back and forth back and forth between that and I and I and there's like really not that much. Thing to do after the game, after I beat the main story, really. There are still a good amount of stuff. There's actually a good amount of stuff you can do and stuff, but a lot of it's just like battling. It's not even part of the story, really. Which is, which I'm not, so I'm not, and I know I was, you know, I said I was gonna show the capturing all the shadow Pokemon away and then battle maybe for the final time against, which, and his final Pokemon would be a uh, Dragonite when we, when we battle maybe last time, but. I'm not gonna show that. I'm sorry for people who wanted me to show you the boss game, but uh, I can't. I don't really want to, really. I know I could. Like at one p at times, I want. There's like some parts I want to do, and some parts I really don't want to do. And if I did post game, I would have to call cover both, and uh, it's just easier. Plus, the, plus you know, there's multiple videos on YouTube. Of, of stuff like that they always show because this is a 10 year old game now I believe over ten, over 10 year game so so I doubt that people don't know what to do anyway unless they never played this game before but this goes at Solomon's 
which is awesome because my eyes seal. Yeah, it was awesome. But yeah, it's just inter it's just interesting. You play these type of Pokemon games are just really fun to play. And also, I'd like to announce that I watched Star Wars The Force Awakens earlier, t earlier today, or this evening, I guess. And now I'm just recording the commentary for this part. And I'm thinking, and I tell you, it's awesome. It's really good to go see. I'm not gonna spoil anything because you know I don't want to spoil people. And in in right now, I might, I might, exp I might sometime explain about sometime in the future, but not in, th not in this video because. This video is kind of me more focus, focusing on um, beating and beating the game and completing the game. Well, not really complete, more just finish the game. I guess I would say. Cause I kind of more of a finish it, finisher than a complete completionist. More a finishness or whatever you call a finisher than a completionist. But anyway, but I do like um, the completionists who do review games and they actually complete the game 100 percently So. It's alright, they're a good, pretty good channel, but anyway, we just try to beat this guy, because this guy, we need to beat before we need to battle, before we beat the final guy and everything. And also, we're also going to catch Shagalugi on this episode, which, and I'll show you an easiest way to capture Shadow, which you put, most of you guys already know. And I know it's a ch ch kind of cheap way to do it, but yep. And if you guys don't know what I mean by cheap, I mean I'm gonna use the Master Ball and Shadow Lugia when we get to it, which is which is right after the because this is the final episode of Pokemon XD. Gale of Darkness, and now our string is Earthquake. Boom! Don't do that much damage, but I don't care. And I see you finished. Great. <laughs> Come on! Oh, we do it didn't do that much damage. I still have a good amount of Pokemon left, but yeah, go go to wire. Hopefully, you can at least do something. But yeah, I'm gonna think about doing what, what if, if I'm gonna do another Pokemon game, which I probably will do another Pokemon game, but I have no idea which one's gonna be. I kind of want to do, like I said, I've been wanting to do Platinum or Soul Silver. Those are the two ones I probably most likely will do. But the, but the thing is, with Platinum, actually, one interesting thing about with Pokemon Platinum is, um, check a Conroy? Just started Let's Play of that game, so. And I really don't want to do, like, you know, a Let's Play of a. I don't want to do a Let's Play when a famous YouTuber's Let's Playing. Just. Just. Because it's kind of bad, because, you know. People would rather watch Chugga Khan Wars than mine, obviously, because Chugga Khan was awesome. But Chugga Chugga Khan Wars was 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 my inspiration for starting Let's Play in the first place. But yeah, I, I, and I actually saw the first episode; it's pretty good. I actually saw the first episode of it today, so yeah, it's awesome. He just announced the Let's Play yesterday, so yeah, he's pretty quick on that when he announced it. But he he uploads like almost like he uploads like when he does a, when he first starts a Let's Play. He does it almost every day, and I mean uh, almost every day, or like pretty within a few days of each other, at least at, from a video. There's times when he takes like a break, like a week or two break or whatever, but that's just near when it's almost completed the game, or almost ending, I guess I would say. But yeah, but we got this Lapras and this this, this other Pokemon. Mirac, I guess I would say, but there she goes, that Lapras. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't th th Thing of that Pokemon. That Pokemon should be easy enough because of the first gen, but anyway, you buy me rock, and this now we, we finally defeated this guy, this El Eldris guy, which is awesome! We defeat El Eldris, nice. But yeah, I think about doing the Soul Silver or Platinum someday, which probably will be, which may be Platinum because I'm currently playing Soul Silver by myself right now, again, so yeah. So maybe a while until I do another Pokemon game. You are powerful, much more than I had imagined. If you aim to stop our plan, then you should. Well, whatever. I'm talking too fast. <laughs> That's all right. I should. Get, I should. Um. I should. I give myself more time to talk. I should have done it before that. But well. This goes that guy. We defeated that guy. But what we're we gonna do now? Let's heal our Pokemon. Now we're just gonna go forth by swing and, and try to defeat the final guy before swing. I'm kidding. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. That'd be pretty bad. That'd be pretty awesome if I could do that. Cause you know, 
That's awesome. But anyway, right here is actually a part where I'm saving right now just before the final battle because just in case there was multiple retakes, which there was multiple retakes of trying to beat the final boss. But anyway, but anyway, now we're actually gonna add a more world candies. Not add more world candies. I mean, like gonna use our world candies on on some more Pokemon and put them on Cilio so we can see the final evolution of Cilio. Which I believe, which is Celio's level 44, which will evolve at level 44, I believe. Evolved to level 33, we gain that. Then we do another one on Celio, so it can be level 44. And then I'll show you the final evolution. And so I have all my forms at the final forms. There we go, evolve Celio. Bum, 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 bum. Listen, you guys, to the music. What Celio's evolving? Oh my god. Yeah, see you, you're awesome! You evolved to what? Well, you evolved to Warren, or whatever you say. Because I'm so bad with Pokemon. Now I'm gonna add more, more, more candies, and I think I'm gonna do it on Ursaring now. Ursaring! Some more work candies on ya! Yeah, get to more work candies! Probably will help a little bit, but you know. We're anyway, gonna ooh, level to four. Ooh, one little snore. No thanks. I'm not gonna learn snore because snore, snore sucks. I don't even like the new snore. You know, you know it can be pretty bad when you plant, 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 battling against um trainers who have the move snore. But anyway, there's actually an item box over here. Let's get um one max revive, which we're actually gonna use this in this episode, by the way. <laughs> it's funny. This is awesome. Which actually the max revive kind of helped me out. In this video, so that's awesome about that. But maybe we're gonna go down this elevator, which is where the boss is. The final boss, Master Grievel. Oh yeah! So I'll probably quiet for a minute and let you guys read the text, or I might read it. Just, who knows? If I have time. Haha, <laughs> so you have even come this far. I had no idea that a mere child like you would pursue me this long. Professor Crane Data Worms in the lair. The alone did. The whatever. I just put this too fast, but well. Just just talking crap about me that his sh his plans don't over yet. And he's about to unleash Shadow Lugia. Creation of Shadow Point that. Probably we just put vacation. That was the first step. Next, I plan to create my own army of shot points that work independently on my orders alone. When the second step is done, I will take over the world without having to rely on brothersome people. And now... Let me introduce you to my favorite servant, the one that shall become the central figure in my Shadow Pokemon army! Come forth, XD! Oh! Oh, one. I believe it said one. Codename XD001. Now free to all adjustments. I paint you Shadow Lugia. This Lugia is the first of the Shadow Pokemon that can be provided. Now let us celebrate the complete the Shadow Pokemon plan to event advance. Advance, but anyway, but anyway, we're actually gonna battle Shadow Lugia. Woo, woo. But anyway, instead of actually battling it, I'm gonna take the shortcut way and use my master ball because you know I'm so of a worse. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, yep, but we shadow look. And actually, shadow look can be purified. You, which you, which because actually, and able to purify, you had to go to the, the you know, purified chamber that they have that 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 that, that, that um, Professor Queen and your mom and everyone else created and stuff. So, but anyway, we're actually gonna use the master ball on this Lugia. And also, and all the slots have to be filled up in the in the um, chamber, so and able to provide Lugia. But anyway, we're gonna catch Lugia on our first try because we use the master ball. What a I'm a cheap way, but oh well. <laughs> Some people just watch it because this is the final episode of my let's play, but of this let's play. But anyway, we defeat you once and for all, Shadow Lugia, and now we're actually gonna battle Master Google after this. How dare you, child? My, how dare you stack my p shadow Pokemon? 
There's d nothing left, but I will personally see the total destruction of your Pokemon. Fail. Fail. <laughs> but anyway, Grandmaster Grievel, and I would like to announce that this guy has six Shadow Pokemon that he all uses. His full team's all Shadow Pokemon, in which three of them are let all the three legendary birds Pokemon: Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. Which is kind of fun. this is actually kind of interesting that they did the uh, have this guy has Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, and then and we have Shadow Lugia. Well, even though we won't lose that Shadow Lugia, but we kept it Shadow Lugia with a Master Ball. <laughs> But which is actually kind of interesting because you know it kind of reminds you of Pokemon 2000. If you guys don't know what that is, well, you probably guys know what it is. Who, who grew up around my time in the 90, in late 90s, early 2000s. I said it came out in 2000, so it's called Pokemon 2000. But it features um, Moltres, Zapdos, Arcuna, and Lugia, and there's like a big battle between all of them and stuff like that. Which is which is the second movie, Pokemon movie, which. The first one was still pretty good, but the second one was the best. The second one was so good. But anyway, goodbye, ride on. There's one down, five more to go. And the, I think the hardest of the this guy has is Zapdos. Like, Zapdos took me a while. No. And anyway, and I think part of the reason it, it took me so long is that um, my because my um, Wolverine fainted, my Wolverine fainted, and it had. And multiple times every time I battled, but when I used Ice Beam on Zapdos, it was it did it was apparently super effective or whatever, or did really good damage. So and so and I just and I figured out and actually in this battle right here because this is actually my, I think my fourth or fifth try I think it's my fourth try of just doing the final battle, but it's actually my first time of doing it tonight, which I was glad that I came to do my first try tonight when I got home from Star Wars: The Force Awakens. But I guess the health for both these didn't quite go down, which kind of is gonna hurt us. Which one of these puts uh, my look at my Wolverine. Oh nope, got survived two HP, which is awesome. Which I think with the help of um help of the world candies and making the evolve helped it. So which is a good thing. <laughs> and goodbye, Moltres. Go there's goes that legendary bird denton down. Now we just have to take out Articuno and Zapdos for the legendary birds. He still has other Pokemon besides like that Toriel's right here, which is which is a pretty good Pokemon. This is, he this seems pretty strong, but I'm actually doing pretty well though against him though. Just that uh, I guess just had to prepare the battle and everything, which I, which I did a little bit. I didn't do that much. I did train at, at, at like a few episodes like two episodes ago off screen. So yeah, cause I didn't train at all like since the last video I uploaded of this game, which was probably like a month ago now, but who cares? This is actually, this is actually a good time um, to finish it. It's right by Christmas, almost the, almost, almost the New Year, so it's put my last game to finish up before 2016. And guess what? My Mario Ace can go to 2016. Yep. Which should have probably finished this year if it wasn't for, you know, my three month break and, um, only uploading like once every week or three up to three weeks but yeah but yeah I guess that's how it is but anyway we send out our guard wire yeah my guard wire <laughs> you should kill yeah some of these moves is pretty serious damage on my Pokemon like that right there the super effective thing but that's alright and my use my ice beam on these Pokemon right here. I Beam on Teleos. Does pretty good damage, not that bad, but despite despite my Pokemon are lower level too, which is another thing which is this is awesome bad because my Pokemon are so low leveled in, in this battle, but which I could have done some training, but I was too lazy to do some training that I decided not to. But yeah. But anyway, I send out my Asterine! Stop dressing, go! Swing! Swing! And you shut a shell, of course. Oh, great. No! Stuck! Mm. Ice Beam! Looks like the skilling guy is gonna faint! Come on! Yeah! Bye bye, Terios! Bye bye! Got some HP! Now send out Zapdos, which is the top. This is which was the Pokemon 
of my three fails was because of that Pokemon. Because the three times I failed, or the three or four times I failed, of, and this is like the fifth, fourth or fifth or time doing it, it's because of that Zapdos Pokemon right there. None other Pokemon I really had trouble with. I did have maybe trouble with Articuno a little bit and maybe the others, but not that much. It took out pretty easy. I don't know, this Zapdos just got me, I guess. But you know, bye. But you know, anyway, I wouldn't be recording this right now if I, if um, if I kept failing and couldn't get that Zapdos out. And it probably would, and probably would have come. If it would probably come out a little later though, because you know, of I had to train up. But it doesn't look like this way. So right now, but anyway, ooh, round doom. There's a good amount of damage. And begins frozen solid. Come on, ice beam. And Zapdos uh, super effective, which I did not even know that before. I guess I guess it's flying type. I guess ice is super against flying. What I just didn't really thought about that. But, yeah, I think ice is super effect effective flying, which is I think is why it was um you know like that. Who right. you knows? And close your shadow belt. Bye bye, Wolverine. I kind of never use full restores in this in, in this episode. Just I just I don't know why I just never really did use full restore. I just noticed that I used revive and stuff or max revive like there, but I just I just noticed that I never really used full restore despite had plenty. Despite having a good amount of full restore, I just never really used it. And I, that kind of just up coming bye bye Houndoom. Doom. Yeah, I, could, I guess I could have trained a lot better these Pokemon up, but yeah, but I can't believe this video, this Let's Play is over with, but I kind of want to be over with, because I was kind of tired of, of playing this, or recording this, I guess I'll say. This was a fun game, but I kind of got tired of, of, of Let's Playing it, because it's been so long since I, of course I should be talking because of my Mario Kart 8 Let's Play, though. My Mario Kart 8 Let's Play has been going on since... 2014, so you know, near the end of 2014, like November, I think, of 2014. It might have been October, actually, of 2014. I don't remember which one, it's either of those two months. I know that. I know it wasn't December, but I know it's like fall, fall time, fall, November or December. I think it, it might, I think it might have been early November, that or late October. I had to check. I, I know I started a um. Which I said I paralyzed Zapdos so I'm so able to you know just so just in case we paralyze but I know it's gonna happen but yeah yeah I've been so much so much I'm tired I'm just tired from today from you know doing I haven't really done that much I've only really seen the first weekend that's pretty much it but still but anyway that's helped a lot but it looks like we're gonna defeat this guy right here. Yeah, this guy only has one Pokemon left, and he needs one move to do to take it out. But we're gonna use Ice Beam, which is gonna take the Pokemon out. Goodbye, Zapdos. Yeah. So now we defeated the evil guy, Master Grievel. Which that be we saved the world from destruction from Team Cipher. And now for more um dialogue with the, them and the end of the story. Now oh, a mere child, a mere child crushed my cherished plan. What? This can't be. Girl, it's your fault. I won't forgive you. There's no forgiving you. Grandmaster, we're done here. We should blow up Sidog Isle with the child still on it. But if it did that, our Shapomon data and our sub tor what it would be destroyed. Your math of such thing can't be placed. We must ensure our own survival. I we something helicopter or escape we got to leave now. You're right. What wait Please wait, you're willing to sacrifice everything so you can escape, you should be ashamed. Ashamed, claim to force 
provide with guaranteed cipher domize cipher must survive that is our first duty the grand master feels the same way yes for cipher's sake sacrifice must be endured what are you saying the chaperone factory has been destroyed xd one was defeated nothing remains of cipher silence cipher will live forever if only this child had it Grandmaster, please give the order to blow up Sedark Isle. Yes, it can't be helped. Don't grudge us, child. Stop, let us put a stop to this, Father. Don't call him Father, call him the Grandmaster! Father, you lost sight of what is important. You got carried away by the whole Grandmaster nonsense. It's impossible to take over the wall in producing powerful Pearl One. Just think of this child. This child, Pearl Heart, when out over XD01, we were in the wall. Science, science, science. Why are you sh showing some spine? We're whatever. <laughs> Suffer is finished, Father. Yourself should know that more than anyone. Now please, stand up. This is how it would be. The laws of the land will wind up judgment in what we have done. On what we have done, sorry. Oh, everything I did. And it, of it was a mistake? Thanks to your courage, we were finally able to wake from our nightmare. Thank you. You have nothing to fear from us ever. You should return home to your family. Let us meet again too. The next time we battle, it won't be as mortal enemies. I'll look forward to it. What an awesome game. This ended with an awesome ending. And there's the ending to this game. And, the, and here is... Which, which looks like the sunshine came out. Yes, this is just a good game of all. Like, one of my favorite games of all time. And possibly my favorite Pokemon, Pokemon spin-off game. I haven't really played Colosseum, so I can't really judge on that. And I heard Colosseum's really good, so... And this is a sequel to Colosseum, so... so there's, that, there's that, so I think... Because I know I would love Colosseum. I do love Pokemon XD, so yeah. What a great ending to a great game. To a great Let's Play as well. You know, kind of got tired of Let's Playing it, though. Or... Because it was taking so long. I guess it was boring. And part of the thing, because... Each video was like 30 minutes long or whatever, but mm, that was kind of for me. It was actually kind of a pain to edit though. It was. Well, that's alright. But anyway, there's the end. We'd like to save, yep. And now it's going to show you all the credits. Which is gonna, and I'll tell you, this is just so a great game. Uh, now there are the credits directed by Manabu Yamat, whatever, whatever all these Japanese names are. <laughs> uh, but still, Pokemon's just a great series. All, even if, even no matter if it's spinoffs or um or the normal main games, they're awesome. Pokemon's just Pokemon's just you know a series that just lived throughout me and probably always will. I always remember this game and. And especially the series in general, but yeah. And speaking of it, uh, Pokemon, someday, I don't know when, maybe someday, I'll play another Pokemon game. Who knows? It might be Coliseum, which I haven't really played yet before, but or it might be Soul Silver, or even Platinum, or a completely different Pokemon spinoff like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Explorers of Time or Sky or whatever. Well, heck, do you, you know there could be a 3DS Pokemon game like Pokemon X and y, X and Y, or even the Pokemon Mega Ruby Out Sapphire, or like the new Mystery Dungeon game that just came out, which I doubt I'll do anytime soon because I don't have a 3DS Caps card. But you know, maybe someday I will and do one of those let plays or all those let plays I mentioned. Who you knows? But anyway. What one thing I want to do th is that um, I'm kind of wondering what the next Pokemon game is going to be. But anyway, but anyway, this is just a great end to a Let's Play. Just a great end. I may just I may just end it off here. I may stop talking. But, so to, to let you guys be, because it's because um, all left 
to do is just to show you guys and the credits and stuff. With this and this game just has awesome music, by the way, though. But yeah, it's just an awesome game with awesome music with an awesome series. I'd say awesome a lot, but yeah, well, pfft, just so it's just so awesome. But yeah, I guess I guess you guys in the next episode. Well, not really next episode. Just I guess you guys in my next video. Whatever that's gonna be. Well, that's just gonna be my one more quick video. But I guess you. I guess see you then. Bye.